we're going to update our RAG application with chat history so we can ask additional questions, follow-up questions to our PDF document. So here we have the project that we started with before and it allows us to upload a PDF document and ask questions about it. I'm going to go through and just like my previous video on how to add chat history to a Llama, we're going to add chat history into this project. So let's go through and see how we can do that. First of all, we need to update some imports and let's do that. We're adding in human messages and AI messages, a chat prompt template, and a message placeholder. In addition, we need to create a history aware retriever. So let's import that as well. Okay. So previously we had been using create retrieval chain and now we're going to be using create history aware retriever so let's take the first step and we need to go through and create a chat history so i'm just going to go ahead and create this out here chat history and it's just an array right now now that we have that we can go through and start adding our history information to the response so in our chat code where we actually call a retriever get the results and all that stuff we have a query i'm going to add that after that code again just like the previous video we're going to add in to our chat history our query And our result. So now this is in the chat history. Great. So that's the start. And then this will give us a basic concept of chatting and maintaining history, but we need to also do this for the retriever. So we, we're going to make a few changes for the retriever and we have a prompt template. So we're now going to have a retrieval prompt and we're going to create a chat template from message and we have messages placeholder which we should have have imported up on the top messages placeholder and we're going to set the variable to chat history which was what we're going to pass in we have the human messages for the input and we also have a human general prompt we're going to say give the above conversation based on the history so given the above conversation generate a search query to look up in order to get information relevant to the conversation okay so now that we have this we're going to take this information here so we have created a chain for a document chain. And previously we've created the create retrieval chain using this information. And we're going to create this chain a little bit differently now. So I'm going to create a new retriever. And our new retriever is going to be a history aware history aware retriever and we're going to pass in the model that we're using in this case the model is our cached LLM the retriever is this previous retriever that we had created and the prompt is this new retriever prompt okay so this is starting to look good our next step is we're going to have a little bit different uh, chain and we're now going to say that we have a retrieval chain where previously we'd use a retriever in the document chain now we're using the history retriever in the document chain let's see if we can get this all set up 
think we have a error here on my retriever. There we go. So now we should be able to run this. And instead of invoking this chain, we want to invoke it a little bit differently now that we have our history in here. And now hopefully we will get back the result, but this time from the, and now we should get back the results, but this time from the retrieval chain. Okay, let's run this and see how it works. All right, we'll go into our activated environment and we'll run Python 3. Okay, looks like we have everything up and running. And we can send some requests in. Looks like we have an error here coming from the AI message. Let's take a look at that real quick. We need to add this in here properly. Here we go. Okay, so we get back an answer and some sources and all sorts of fun stuff. Okay, we're going to go through and upload a new file. I'm going to add a new file. And this is going to be Tomco PDF. I'm going to upload it. Okay. And that was uploaded. And now I'm going to do some queries against that. So I'm going to say, what is the company name? The company name is Acme Widgets. There you go. And this is the basic document that I use. So company name is Acme Widgets. Tom is the CEO of our company. Our company makes widgets. We sell 100 widgets a month. Acme earns Earnings are $100 billion a year from widgets and consulting. So now let's do some follow-up questions on this. We know what the company name is. And we can ask, what are the earnings? Our earnings are $10 billion a year. Great. And let's follow up something. How much are from widgets? And it will come up and says widgets are one billion dollars per year. It's getting a little bit of bad hallucination information, but it still has the, the gist of it. How much from consulting? And it still doesn't have it well defined. Our document isn't great. Plus, ask it how many a month. There we go. We sell 100 widgets per month. So I didn't ask it how many widgets. I just did a follow up question and then we were talking about widgets. There you go. So now you can do your RAG integration and have follow ups. I will take this code and I will check it in and it will replace the existing code as anyone doing RAG probably wants to add chat history in it as well. A couple things to note. This right here maintains chat history forever. So every time you start it, it's going to reset the program. It's all in memory. If you're doing this in production, you would have this chat history based on a session key or a chat conversation information and I would probably reload this data from a database. I use MongoDB whenever I, I do this. So hope this has helped and answered some questions. This is a simple RAG application with a history so you can ask follow-up questions against your documents. Please like and subscribe. Watch my channel for more videos. I typically do videos 
in Java. I'll be doing the same application of Java once all the technologies and libraries are here. And we'll go from there. Thank you very much.